So what's up guys, Sam here and welcome back to episode two of the best Nova Launcher setups. I've got three outrageously cool setups to showcase to you guys today. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So today's three featured setups come from Ivan, Pugith and Lalit and I apologize if I've butchered the pronunciation of your names but these three setups in my mind epitomize minimalism and so if you're someone who like me loves a clean setup then definitely stick around. And just a reminder that each of the necessary elements of these setups so the Nova Launcher backup files, the wallpapers, the icon packs, the widgets and any core apps will all be linked in the description below for you to check out and load onto your own devices. So again in no particular order, let's start with Lalit's setup. Now, boy oh boy, is this setup freaking beautiful. I mean, just take one look at it and you will acknowledge how striking it is and why I've included it in this episode. It definitely takes minimalism to a whole nother level. Now, first up, it's a one page setup. So what you see right here is what you get. We've got a clock and date widget, a row of four apps, which I'll talk about more in a moment, but that is literally it. Now, I think what makes this setup so visually appealing is the black and white rocky wallpaper you see in the background, which like my own setup has this fade to nothing at the top, which just beautifully allows you to place anything you want there and visually whatever you place there just sticks out. And then contrast that with the bright pops of the colors that you see with the app icons and it just makes this setup one of the most visually pleasing setups that I've come across so far. So up the top, as mentioned, we have a clock and date widget and this comes from the minimal UI widget pack, which is a widget pack for Super Widget Pro and I'm not too sure how Lalit had it set up, but I've made it so that tapping on the analog clock takes me straight into my clock application and tapping on the right side will take me into Google Calendar, which just adds that extra layer of functionality that's needed with a minimal setup such as this. From there, all that we have left is the four application icons below the clock and date widget. Firstly, the icon pack here is the crispy icon pack, which I really like the look of. And as I said earlier, the bright colors really make these icons pop on the page. So to match Lilith's setup that he sent me, I've got here the Samsung camera, shuttle music, Spotify, and Instagram. I'm also not 100% sure how Lilith had his application draw triggered, but personally, I've added a swipe to open gesture as that's definitely what I'm used to. Now, whilst I absolutely love the look of this setup, one thing I will mention is obviously functionality has been sacrificed in order to get this super clean look. Now, obviously, Lalit must be a music lover, and my guess is that his phone is primarily used for music playback rather than productivity or games, which is totally cool, but the biggest drawback from this setup for a user such as myself is without question the fact that I'll be finding myself sifting through the app drawer super regularly in order to find the various apps I need, and that's just a consequence of having so few apps on the home page. Now, you might be someone similar who either A, doesn't use many different apps on your phone, or B, has no issues going through the app drawer route, but for me, I'd probably have to replace these app icons with folders and just to show you what I mean I've actually made this Instagram icon a folder for my social media applications and I've just changed the icon of the folder to the Instagram icon so it still retains that super clean look but without a doubt one of the cleanest setups you will come across so I definitely recommend having a look at the description below and checking it out for yourself okay so next up we have Pugith's setup and as you can see this is another super clean setup but this one also has some hidden functionality which I'll chat about in a moment so firstly, this is another one page setup, which definitely keeps things clean. And we've got this fairly minimal background giving structure to this entire setup. So up the top, we have a Google pill and welcome message widget, which somewhat resembles the Google pixel pill and time widget that I've previously shown you. But obviously this one has a completely different look. So this widget comes from the minimal UI widget pack, again for Zoop Widget Pro. And Pugith did mention to me that he slightly edited his widget. So I've done the same. All he's done is replace the date information with the welcome message message and your name and you're set to go. But as expected, tapping on the Google Pill widget opens up Google, which adds a nice layer of functionality. Below that, we have this unique looking clock, date, and weather widget, which again comes from the minimal UI widget pack. And that really is the center of attention of this setup with your eye generally being drawn straight into that clock. As with most time and date widgets, tapping on that opens up the clock application, which is obviously pretty neat. Now below that, we have a few different elements. So firstly, in the middle, we have this slide open apps message and these arrow indicators, which is super useful for people perhaps borrowing your phone and not knowing how on earth it works. So that's a bit of a unique approach, which I really dig. And I definitely think it does not draw away from the minimalism of this setup. This text and arrow indicator have also been set up using the minimal UI widget pack, which is available as its own widget within that widget pack. 
Also, I just want to point out his app drawer, which has this completely opaque black background, which gives off this ultra minimal vibe. So that's definitely something worth mentioning. To the left and right of this widget, we have the phone app and the YouTube app, both of which are using the Lions icon pack, which I believe I featured in the last episode of the best Nova launcher setup. Now, what's really cool is that each of these apps also trigger separate folders when swiping up on them. So swiping up on the phone icon opens up a folder of various tool applications and swiping up on the YouTube app icon launches a folder full of media applications. So obviously this adds a great amount of functionality and you could obviously fill both of these folders with whatever applications you so desire. And so this setup is super functional in my mind. Other than that, I just really think this setup has a consistent look to it, which screams both simplicity and appeal. So I definitely recommend downloading this setup and trying it out for yourself. And finally today we have Ivan's setup. Once again, super clean and super attractive and I just could not leave it out of today's episode. This is a two page setup with a really, really minimal home page and a second page for the month calendar widget, which I obviously use on pretty much every setup I install on my own devices. So that's great to see. Now being such a sleek and clean setup, I think the most of the three in this video, there's actually not a whole heap to really talk about. It's just mainly a treat to look at. But firstly, that background is a really great backdrop for this setup, quite similar to the one I'm currently rocking on my own setup, which you saw in last week's What's On My Android video. Hence, I really, really like it. It has enough to be visually appealing whilst also providing a great amount of space for that clock and date widget. And I'll include a link to it in the description below. And speaking of that clock and date widget, which takes center stage on this setup, this was actually a self-made widget that Ivan had created, but unfortunately he did not include it in his email to me. And so I actually took it upon myself to recreate this widget, building upon one that I found in the minimal Zooper widget pack featured in each of the setups in today's video. I just tweaked some colors and fonts and duplicated some layers to create what you're looking at and all within about 10 minutes and that is testament to the power of Zooper Widget Pro. But to save you the effort, I actually saved the widget that I created and it will be linked of course in the description below for your downloading pleasure. Again, I've set this widget up to launch straight into the Google Clock application. Below that, we have this loan icon, which comes from the min icon pack, and that is set to trigger the app draw. And as you can see, Ivan has the min icon pack across his entire setup. One thing I will point out is that there's obviously eight or so folders at the top of his app drawer. And whilst that's obviously not the most ideal situation for a setup, it is a consequence of having such a bare and minimal home screen. From there, as previously mentioned, the second page is just for the month calendar widget. And this blue theme is available for those who have the paid edition of this app. Aside from that, there really isn't anything else to add about this setup, except that it's super attractive and definitely one that I think you'll enjoy loading onto your device. So there you have it guys, three epic setups that I honestly have no doubt you'll absolutely love trying out on your own devices. So make sure you check out the description to get going with each of these setups. I've also linked the original video which has all of the instructions and rules for submitting your own setup. So if you like the sound of having your own setup featured in one of these episodes, then definitely go ahead and watch that video. But aside from that, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and are feeling inspired to start experimenting with your own setups. Please keep your submissions coming. I absolutely love checking each and every one of them out. But anyway, thanks for watching and I will catch you guys later.